And first up tonight, a community coming together in memory of a mother and baby killed before their home was set on fire back in April. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Stephanie Simone. The tragedy unfolded in the town of Wallingford and Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Bryant Reed was at that vigil tonight. He is live in front of what remains of that scorched home. Bryant. Yeah, Stephanie, it's clear here that these are two lives clearly lost too soon. I want to show you the memorial left behind from about a couple of dozen of the people who showed up to the vigil today, leaving pictures, flowers, and lighting candles for both the mom and baby boy. The group saying tonight that this is a case of femicide, the intentional killing of women as both the mom and baby were victims of domestic violence. A month ago today, 19-year-old Charisma Johnson and her nine-month-old baby boy Kylan were killed. Their deaths then covered up by a fire. This sh hurts. This sh hurts bad. In the house with them at the time of the fire was Justin Varnado, the father. Police say there was a protective order against him for domestic violence, and he should not have been there. It's presumed he's not only the one who killed Charisma and Kylan, but also started the fire. And for him to succumb to his wounds, and I have no one to be angry with. Charisma's aunts speaking passionately about who she was and the frustration of not being able to see the mom and son grow. We're going to miss out on those milestones, those birthdays, those Mother's Days, those Christmases, all the thoughts that we could share with Kylan. Yes. We don't know where he would have grown up to be. As neighbors and friends staple kind words in front of the burnt home and hang hearts from a tree, a group against domestic violence says women's calls for help need to be taken more seriously. Because we don't need another 19-year-old girl murdered with her baby for us to be responding to the real violence that women are experiencing here every single day as a result of domestic violence, intimate partner violence, sexual violence. Now friends and family alike light candles while sharing pictures and their fondest memories of their loved ones as two lives taken too soon. They're together and they're resting in heaven and we'll always remember them. Now, Stephanie, I had the chance to speak with a Wallingford officer in the Domestic Violence Division. She was actually here at the vigil tonight. She says violated protective orders are actually one of the top three reasons they're arresting people here in Wall Wallingford these days. She says as much as they would love to be able to follow the victims around and make sure that they're safe, it's just not something that they can do. So she says it's up to the entire community. If you see something, say something. If somebody is violating that protective order so they can keep everybody safe. In Wallingford tonight, Brian Street, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.